Google have just launched Gemini 2.5 Flash Image, aka Nano Banana. And if you're into AI image generation, you can now find this integration directly inside of Adobe Express and also Adobe Firefly. And this video is sponsored by Adobe Express, but I wanna show you how you can turn this image into something a little bit more like this using some of the prompts inside of Adobe Express. Let's go and dive into it. We're gonna start off just with a normal square image. Now to be able to find this, you're gonna come over to media and you're gonna come over to generate image. I'm just gonna click a square option. Now you see you can choose the different models up here. Now there are a few other integrated models that they do have and also uh, Firefly Image 3 is in here. But the one we're looking at today is Gemini 2.5 Flash Image. And you'll just need to click add like you've got the option here. And that's the model that we want to use. Now in order for this to work and change one image into something a little bit different, we're gonna click and choose a reference image. Now the reference image we're gonna choose is this one here of me, where I was just recently a local coffee shop drinking a coffee in a very plain looking gray t-shirt, bit like what I'm wearing today. Now one of the great things about this image model is that you can just ask it to change one aspect of the actual image that you've uploaded. So for this, let's say we want to change this to change the top to a green top with yellow stripes. Hit enter. And you can see this says that it uses 20 credits at the moment, but right now I believe it's not actually using any credits. At least it's not taking any credits off me. And we can see that it's done an absolutely amazing job. It's actually got all of the wrinkles in there. It still looks like me. It's not changed my face or anything else like that. Now let's say I want to change the cup of coffee to a cup of tea. You can see there, it changed the top again a little bit. So it's changed that because it's using my original reference image. If you wanted to use just the image that it's changed, you'd have to kind of like download it and upload it again. But at this time you can see it's actually changed that to a cup of tea. And it actually looks like an actual cup of tea that I would actually be drinking there. Now I want to take this a little bit further and advance this. And what I've done is I've created a prompt that says, change the top to a green top with yellow stripes, change the coffee to a tea, and make the background a little bit more Halloween. Let's click generate and see what we get. And we can see there it's actually looking like, it's just added some aesthetics to the background there to make it a little bit more Halloween. And we can say also, and zoom out and put a person next to me. And there we go. I seem to have actually got myself a date whilst I was at the coffee shop. Don't tell my girlfriend. We've got somebody there sat next to me and it actually looks like somebody's actually sat next to me. I am amazed as to what this looks like. And as I say, this is also available in Adobe Firefly. And this is some of the fun. And it works slightly different in Adobe Firefly. So earlier on, I was uploaded the image. I changed my top. We then changed to a green and yellow striped top with a cup of coffee, zooming out, making it more Halloween. I then added somebody next to me with a green potion looking drink. And then I added somebody else in next to me and we then zoomed out and then we make them look a little bit crazy. So you can see in, in Adobe Firefly, it actually updates the reference image each time as we're doing this. So it's you can ask it to just change and tweak those images as you're going along. I'll put a link down below to try Adobe Express or Adobe Firefly for you. Click on that, give it a try. I'd love to see what images you're creating. Tag me over on Instagram at Better Content Creators. And until next time, thank you very much and bye for now.